Hey everyone, Carl here with Literate Lessons bringing you a deep dive featuring Smeargle this week. Smeargle uh, was on our poll for Friday, but I thought it would be an interesting Pokemon to cover even though it lost, uh, mainly due to the fact that Smeargle is so unique in what it can do. Having access to almost every move in the game outside of a very select small handful, um, think Chatter and like Dark Void and things like that. Um, but Smeargle having access to all those moves means that there is just an infinite number of Smeargle sets for you to try. But before we get started covering Smeargle, make sure to hit that like button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live, hit that subscribe button, and come join our Discord if you're interested in playing in a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Draft League. Uh, Signups are open now and they run until the end of the month, and we would love to have you join us. So Smeargle is very infamous for what it's done in, in past formats. If you go back to early Gen 3, Gen 2, Gen 4, and all that stuff in singles, it's known for doing like crazy baton pass stuff. Um, it got the baton ingrain mo uh, moveset banned at one point. Um, and then it it was uh, it forced Game Freak's hand to uh, change how Dark Void worked back in Sun and Moon, so Smeargle wouldn't be a dominant force there. And overall, um, these past transgressions um, are more just inhabitant of Smeargle's overall ability to have access to every move. What makes Smeargle cool is, in fact, the, uh, all those access to great utility moves and like Dark Void Spore, Fake Out Follow Me, uh, Thunder Wave, Toxic, Spiky Shield. There's just the list just goes on and on. So it just eventually meant that Smeargle is going to break the format in some way or fashion and Game Freak has to stay on top of that to keep it balanced. But after Dark Void was kind of removed from Smeargle's uh, pool of op options, it kind of fell in line with some of the better support utility Pokemon in the format. Um, you kind of see a lot of that in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC formats right now where you see like Spiky Shield and Fake Out and Spore. Um, you see follow me sets and you see like endeavor sets and some very unique like offensive belly drum sets so the the choices are endless with Smeargle and that's what makes Smeargle just so unique and great. Common partners for Smeargle uh, tend to be kind of just helping Smeargle stay alive. That's kind of the best way to put it. Uh, if you think about things like uh, bulky mons or uh, other threats that draw attention away from Smeargle um, or other sleep like Spore users like Breloom. Um, Smeargle overall just benefits from these kinds of things because Smeargle does its best when its partner is the focus and not itself. If your opponent isn't focusing the Smeargle, Smeargle's going to get to just do all of the stuff it wants to do in the game. Whereas if your opponent is focusing the Smeargle, your partner gets to set up and it just is this vicious cycle of you have to play this pull, tug and this push and pull game of do I take care of the Smeargle? Do I take care of the partner? Do they going to use protect? Are they not going to use protect? And can utilize that to your advantage to essentially keep your opponent on the back foot. Uh, other good partners are things like Redirection and Togekiss or Lucario Follow Me. Uh, Intimidate's always a good option helping your Smeargle stay alive a little bit longer. Things like Arcanine, uh, Gyarados, and stuff like that. So it's cool to see that Smeargle can just be slapped into almost any team because it can fit almost any role. Looking at the metagame breakdown, we're going to start with items first because let me tell you, getting access to everything in the format means that there is so much move data you have no idea what to cover first. Um, common items are Focus Sash for sure, 93% there. Um, that's probably one of the best items you can slap on Smeargle. Being able to make sure you get a move off a lot of the time. Um, is almost a guaranteed just a bonus compared to just running like mental herb or life orb or any other item over it. Speaking of mental herb, mental herb is at 5%. This is for more bulky smeargles um, when you're trying to just like sit around on the field for a long time and not get blown out by like a prankster taunt. We don't have to worry about that as much in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but it's still just always a fear that you need to respect. Um, another unique item that Smeargle can run is Choice Scarf. You do have enough speed to get to that magic number for 201, which will outspeed all base 130s, which is all the, the, the only speed uh, tier that you really, really need to outspeed. You don't really have to worry about trying to outspeed anything faster than that, unless they're just like Tailwind and whatnot. But 
Choice Scarf makes it unique for like an offensive Smeargle. You do get Technician, so you can get a lot of these lower powered moves that Technician boosts. Granted, your attack stat ends garbage, but the option is there. Speaking of moves, you have access to everything, but the majority of the moves that you see are as follows. Uh, Fake Out, Spore, Follow Me, Spiky Shield, Endeavor, Wide Guard, Transform, Protect, Toxic, Trick Room, Taunt, Quick Guard, Extreme Speed, and Final Gambit. Uh, these are everything that's above 1% usage, um, and honestly, you could probably knock off anything below 5 and probably still be fine. Um, you're not going to see a whole lot of like variety when it comes to top level smeargles fake out spore and spiky shield are all really really good moves and then you kind of just slap on whatever other move you want uh focus sash can run endeavor which is just a really good like offensive move put your opponent to one hp or take it and even like break a sash essentially make it a little bit under eight under full things like that uh wide guard and transformer super duper cool um having wide guard in a format where like earthquake and dazzling gleam and rock slides really are really popular is just really good to have transform means that your smear goal essentially just like can change at the top at the flip of a coin to another pokemon and get access to all of those moves which can be really really good uh if you think like cop like copying an opponent's arcanine can be decent or copying an opponent's tyranitar and stuff like that so Smeargle overall is just like a very unique Pokemon and I like that it has access to all of this stuff. Um, my personal favorite sets are the Fake Out sets, the supporty offensive sets where you get to use Fake Out and Spiky Shield to your advantage to kind of bait your opponent in and then pick them off with like Spores and Toxics and things like that. Speaking of favorite move sets, we have our base stats here of almost nothing of note here. Uh, the one balancing thing that they did for Smeargle was even though you have access to all the moves in the world, you can't do any damage with it. Like base 20 attack and special attack means that you are not a powerful Pokemon by any means. Uh, base 35 and base 45 special defense and base uh, 55 HP means that you aren't the bulkiest thing on the format on the world either. The one saving grace is you do have base 75 speed. That 75 speed is actually fairly decent. I believe you get to 139 at Jolly or Timid. Um, and having these abilities for own tempo, Technician, and Moody are whatever. Moody can help you out a ton if you're lucky. Um, technician is cute. Own tempo uh, doesn't see a whole lot of play, but it does make you immune to Intimidate. So just something to think about like that. Uh, as for sets, we have a lot of focus sash, ba focus sash base sets. Um, this set is Jolly with 252 HP, 4 attack, and 252 sp uh, sp speed. Uh, fake out, Spore, Spiky Shield, Endeavor. This is very, very standard. Just going to break sashes and put opponents to one and eventually maybe pick them up with like a Spiky Shield. Uh, you could easily swap fake out for extreme speed on this set and use that to uh, your advantage just go endeavor extreme speed pick it up to ko things like that uh the next set uh we keep the focus sash we go to timid um instead of putting things into attack we put those four evs in the defense and become a bulkier stall set we have toxic spiky shield leech seed and milk drink uh, these overall are just like the best like recovery moves. We have a protect and spiky shield. We have a way to essentially stall and drain them out if they're grass type or if not a grass type. Overall, this set just feels very gimmicky but can be useful on certain teams. Building with Smeargle is difficult to say the least. Having access to all the moves in the game means that it's hard to effectively optimize Smeargle. Like, yes, you know the EVs you want to use, max HP and max speed most of the time. You don't care about putting anything in your attack or defenses. But there's definitely better moves over other moves that fill the same roles. Think like recovery moves or, or the protect versions like detect, spiky shield, protect, all those. Um, you could like look at baneful bunker, uh, which is another interesting move uh, that we gained access that had that we had gained access to from from uh, Toxapex, but I don't think it's in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So that's just like something for later, like in like a Gen 9 game, maybe. Um, other things to consider that are just 
other than support moves, you can be offensive. Like I mentioned, you do have like an extreme speed endeavor set with focus sash that you go to one, use endeavor, setting your opponent's HP to one, and then just extreme speed pick it up. And then you can like spiky shield to break another sash or so whatever you need to do it like that. Um, there's also like belly drum sets. Like base 20 isn't great, but even at plus six belly drum, uh, plus a, a 20 base attack is still going to be decent enough to do some serious damage with like a technician boosted bullet seed or uh, a technician boosted mock punch, or bullet punch and whatever. So there's there's other options for Smeargle than utility support. Defeating a Smeargle is fairly easy, you just have to take the time to devote to focusing it down. Um, a lot of them carry Sash, um, I know a lot of people hate playing against Spore, and Grass types are fairly weak right now, but Grass types have an advantage over Smeargle at the get-go because they are immune to Spore. So having things like Roserade or Breloom on your team can usually give you a leg up. Uh, other things to consider are like Hariyama with Detect and Flame Orb. If you have status, you can't be put to sleep with Spore, so you get to ignore that stuff. Um, other things to consider are Fake Out and Taunt, or just general outspeeding it. Uh, Smeargle, like I said, isn't the fastest thing. Base uh, 75 gets to 139. There's a ton of Pokemon in this format that outspeed it naturally, so if you just like get a Taunt off before it can move, you're going to be golden. And being prepared for just about everything in the format is going to be just a good a good tech for Smeargle. Um, obviously, a lot of them are going to run Spore. Uh, a lot of them are going to run Fake Out. They may be running Follow Me. They may be running Trick Room. They may be running Toxic. You never know until you see it. So just planning ahead and thinking about what the team is trying to do and what Smeargle can do for that team can give you a leg up and help you stay ahead of what the Smeargle is trying to do. And with that being said, I want to thank y'all for hanging out and listening to me ramble about Smeargle today. Make sure to check us out on Twitter. Handles are there on screen. Check out the Discord link in the description down below. And if that isn't working, you can do discord.gg forward slash LRLessons. Uh, come sign up for our Brilliant, Pearl and Diamond, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Draft League. I about said the names backwards there. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, there's a free and a paid division. So whatever you're interested in, if you're looking for something a little bit more competitive, you can play in the paid division. If you're looking for something a little bit more relaxed and chill, the free option is there for you. And remember to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications for when new videos go live, leave a comment down below. All that stuff helps us out a ton. And with that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at in the world. And we'll see you all on Friday with Latios. Bye, everyone.